Hi, doctor. I'm looking at this case with the goal of correcting the crossbite um, and making his smile look like he has these teeth rather than looking like a dark area. And the questions are, you know, is this a realistic? How far can we get these premolars to move? Um, well, moving the premolars buckle really doesn't have much restriction as long as there is buckle bone to support it, meaning that we're not going to push this tooth into an area where we would cause a significant amount of recession. Um, and without a cone beam, we would just go, you know, by the looks of the gingiva, and I'm gonna assume we have plenty of space. Um, so I do think that moving this buckle is predictable. Um, one of the things that is going to be difficult is actually the amount of intrusion that's happening with the canine. Um, and that's the area where this case may start to stop tracking because this is a harder movement to do, not impossible, but harder. Um, and this is going to be more resistant than, um, than the premolar not moving buckle. And if this canine isn't intruding all the way, the aligner is going to bottom out here. It's going to be super flush here, but it'll pull away from the canine and away from the lateral. So just keep that in mind in which you may want to go a little bit slower with this case because of that intrusion. And I do think it is worthwhile to intrude the tooth because it's already been worn quite a bit. Um, it's not in an area that's really good canine guidance where he's wearing the anterior teeth. Um, and uh, so I do think it's worth, it definitely can improve his smile as well. The key for this intrusion is having plenty of retention. So this deep bite attachment is a good one to that because it has pressure points in the aligner to help with the intrusion. Um, but we'd want more than this. And I'm looking at this tooth and it looks like this has um, a crown on it and we can bond to porcelain crowns. I'm just not sure if that's zirconia or not. Um, but putting a big retention attachment on the buckle of the molar, that is certainly something that we can do because the gold is only on the occlusal. Um, so I think that could be very helpful. Uh, then looking at the premolar specifically, um, I would also add a attachment on the lingual of both of these premolars that are moving to the buckle. It shouldn't be in the, w in the way of the patient biting down. Um, and we normally wouldn't bond things onto the lingual as you don't put composite into the bite ramps. But gripping the tooth on buccal and lingual, I think can help keep the aligner engaged with this tooth and keeping it upright and translating rather than just tipping. Um, and my attachment of choice for that is going to be a oval that is horizontal um, so that the aligner can get underneath that surface while being not a 90 degree angle um, because if, if as soon as the 90 degree angle uh, stops engaging with the attachment like if the tooth lags behind a little bit um, the attachment stops engaging with the aligner then nothing is effective and nothing fits so um, i'm going to be placing those with the 3d controls looking further onto the crossbite on the other side um, the software is rotating this molar I don't think it makes a big impact on the case um, and doing any of these molar movements i've seen them very easily turn into a posterior open bite by the molar tipping in a way that we didn't expect it to um, plus this has a crown on upper and lower and so i'm thinking let's just hold these molars right where they are therefore we have plenty of anchorage for these teeth and then we can really just focus on the crossbite um, so we'll definitely keep this attachment here as a retention attachment. And then uh, I think we can eliminate the upper IPR. Um, I think the software did that for some type of um, midline uh, correction. However, that's not his chief concern and that makes his original case of a deep bite uh, one that is far more likely to finish with an anterior interference because we know that intrusion doesn't happen 100%. And so finishing with a really tight overjet on a deep bite case tends to end up as too heavy contact in the front and hardly any contact in the back. So I can write all of these things to the CAD designers, um, but I'm happy to do most of these things with the 3D controls. So I'm going to make unmovable here. And then now we don't need these attachments. So I can right click and remove them. Let's take away this IPR. And then I'll add the attachments on the lingual. Perfect. 
and then we will take this attachment away and add a very big, oops, what did I do? Attachment to the molar. The software knows that there should be retention on the premolars to help with anterior intrusion. And that's why you all of a sudden got all of these blue dot movements because the software is like, oh, this is a rotation attachment and we don't have something here. Um, so that is just the software giving you a warning. But I think with the additional attachment on the lingual, which the software isn't calculating into that, should be just fine. Um, so, and we do have retention over here. Actually, what if we made this into a retention attachment? Uh, let's take a look then as to what is going on on the lower arch. And we have blue dot movements here because these lower premolars are intruding. Well, uh, we can ask the software to correct that. But once I see this tooth is extruding, if we eliminate that extrusion and do less of that movement, then we don't need to intrude so much. And so we just made two movements a lot simpler. For this case. Uh, so this one has root movement and this uh, this type of root movement, this crown root angulation is very, very difficult to do, especially in adults with long rooted canines. And so I'm just going to eliminate that as that's not a part of this chief concern and isn't really helping the case either. From here I can do, oh, we wanted to do the same thing on the other side. So you can also press zero to eliminate that movement. And then from there, I'm gonna do a little bit more buckle tipping of the lower canines to help these canines get into a closer, better uh, canine guidance relationship. And then from here, we have the case just about ready to send for the live update, uh, which is a great feature to make this case uh, ready to ship out fairly quickly. And this is a, a, more, a better overjet that we would want to see when we start off with a traumatic occlusion from a deep bite. Uh, so let me know if you have any other questions, but I'm pretty happy with the result from this. Thanks so much.